Hello, if you're new here, I'm Andrew and I'm a software engineer working in big tech. In this video, I'll share my workday and reveal five productivity tools I use that helps me on a daily basis. Too many dig themselves a grave and all these things come out to play. I want to feel your nothingness, I'm just a figment in your brain. I remember Broski told me that nothing is the same and now we on the road to righteousness through thunder or the rain. I've got numbers on my mind, what's Pete coming home? So I like to start my mornings by catching up on Slack messages and emails to see if I've missed anything important. Next, I like to make a list of things that I want to accomplish for the day. That can be co-reviewing PRs or making sure that I talk to other engineers that I need information from. So my mornings for an hour or so is basically checking up on the things I need to accomplish for the day and making sure that I have all the information that I need to accomplish the things I need to do. After I make my list of things to do, it's usually time for stand-up. And so once stand-up is done, that's when I begin the bulk of my my work for the day. So as a remote worker, I can get really distracted by other things being at home. These include, you know, watching YouTube, scrolling my phone, or just even doing other things around the house. And to fix that, I use five different productivity tools to help me stay productive at work. So I have time to do stuff around the house as well. So the first and obvious tool I use is ChatGPT. I mainly use ChatGPT to write functional and unit tests, and that speeds up the development work for me. But I also use it to help scan through the code and see if there's any potential bugs and solutions to fixing those bugs. And there's been various times where I use it to solve my HTML problems. And so I found it really useful just inputting code and seeing what it spits out. I also use ChatGPT to help write my technical documents. And I do this by pasting in my technical documents and have it summarize it for me. That's understandable and readable to anyone who's trying to read it. So the next tool I use is Pomodoro, which is a Chrome extension. Pomodoro is a time management technique that sets time intervals for works and breaks. Typically it's a 25 minute focus time followed by a five minute break. This is a time management app that I've used since college that really helped me study well. And using this time management tool for work has helped me stay focused and allows me adequate time to take breaks and step away from the computer from time to time. And so the third tool I use is IntelliJ. IntelliJ is an IDE for Java and it's helped me a ton with my development work. You can customize it to your preferences. You can set configurations for your development environment. IntelliJ's debugger has helped me a ton. I use it to find the cause of bugs. I use it in my feature development work. I also use it to walk through other teams code to better understand what's going on. I also enjoy using these shortcuts in IntelliJ. So the common ones I use is double shift to search for a file and command shift F to find certain contents in a file. The last two tools that help me with my work are diff checkers and formatters. With diff checkers, they've been useful for me ever since college. It allows me to see the difference between two texts of files and catch anything that I've missed. There's been times where a JSON key value pair was missing and it didn't catch my eye until I put it into a diff checker and that allowed me to solve the issue at hand. And so the same goes for formatters. And with formatters, it helps me in a similar way because it formats the text and in a way that is more readable. With the more readable text, it allows me to understand the structure of the data and help me catch missing areas in the text so I can continue working through that. So these are the five tools that helps me stay productive. I recommend trying the Pomodoro technique if you haven't already. That's helped me a ton with getting work done. And also make sure you have a good development environment that can make coding a little bit easier for you and help with your feature development.
but once it reaches around 4 30 or 5 i call it a day and i like to begin immediately with dinner because that allows me to eat dinner and de-stress from 5 to 6 and from 6 to 9 i can focus on other things i want to accomplish for the day I hope you found these tools helpful. If you haven't tried those tools yet, I recommend trying them out and see how it goes. If you want to see more of these videos, I'll put a video here for you to check out and I'll see you in the next video.